Our next, our next guest is set to star in a thrilling new medical drama called The Resident coming to City this fall. Please welcome Manish Dayal. Welcome to the studio. We are so Thank excited so to much. have you. So Thank you. This is, you know, you know, we've seen medical dramas before, but this one's a little bit different. You play a, a young resident doctor exactly. who, who's kind of naive about the whole profession. Precisely, yeah. Our show is a very new and sort of dark and current take on what it means to uh, live your life as a doctor in, in, in the hospital. And my character is this very young and naive new resident intern who comes into the hospital with dreams of, of saving lives and, and, and changing the world. And soon he realizes that there are politics in a hospital like any other profession that will prohibit him from reaching those, those, those goals. And so he has to sort of persevere and push past all of those limitations in order to sort of get there. And you're working with a great cast here, including Emily Van Camp, who's a Canadian. We love her. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> and, you know, working with uh, some, some other, some, you know, some, such talent, um, is it kind of intimidating when you walk on set and go, wow, there's some, there's some big names here? Yeah, I mean, working with big names is always a, a new opportunity to sort of work with, with actors from all different um, areas of the world, really, and you, you see how everyone their schools and, and how they learned and everything is applicable together in, in a scene and it's really interesting to see see all those perspectives come together. So when, uh, do you have any medical background? I do not have any, <laughs> no, I will not claim that, but so, I do have some doctors in my family and I was able to sort of, you know, go to them for some research and I read a lot and I observed a lot of physicians inside of uh, ERs and sort of. Do they let you kind of follow them around and uh, for like, can you shadow and, and, and pick yeah. Wow. Absolutely, that's the best way to do it because you really sort of not only observe how they uh, practice medicine, but their behavior. Okay. And I think that's really a big part of uh, creating a character, especially creating a you know a doctor, a new doctor. Um, and we have a bunch of physicians on set who help us out, who are there to sort of guide us. And uh, you know, there's a scene in the pilot. I don't know, if you, like you, you'll see it soon, that my character does something called a central line. And if you are a doctor, you know that it's a very difficult thing to do. And uh, I practice on dummies, and I'm sure I killed like five dummies, but um, <laughs> eventually I got it right, and we did it on, on camera, and I was able to sort of, you know, you'll see in, in the show what happens, but that Can't was the wait. big sort of triumph moment for my character in this pilot. Uh, you also have a movie coming out before the show hits uh, City TV. Uh, sure. There's a new movie coming out about uh, the British leaving India. It's called Viceroy's House, right. starring Gillian Anderson, and you're one of the main characters as well. It looks like one of those incredible epic movies, you know, historical movies. When you signed on to this movie, did you did you realize how, how big in scope it was going to be? I knew how big in scope it was going to be because this is a, uh, a part of our, you know, our Indian history that's been relatively untold on on screen and really it's a one of the you know biggest moments in, in Indian history and it is about the division of India into two countries in Pakistan and India that left a million people dead and almost half a million people displaced it was the largest mass migration in modern history and it's truly a, 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 a fantastic film that everyone should see and it comes out this August uh, here in Canada and it's like I said like you said, uh, Viceroy's house, and um, so you shot it on uh, on like in India, correct? Uh, yeah, we did. We shot it in Rajasthan, which okay. is you know in the northern part of India. And you know, being there, and obviously you know having to experience India now from you know basically what you saw on screen is, I mean, obviously the country has grown so much, sure. changed so much, and has such a bright future. Sure. Um, d did anybody locally know what you guys were doing and, and the kind of movie you were doing? And were they asking, curious about oh, it? Oh, for sure. I think, you know, the, 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 the subject nature of the movie, sort of the word did spread. I mean, this is a, a sensitive topic even today in India, and it's something that um, people were truly grateful that we were telling this story. And I think our film does a good job of, of neither, you know, villainizing either side. It really just tells you, um, you know, a very clean perspective on, on what happened. Presented without opinion. Sure, you right. know, there's opinions in every, every type of storytelling for sure, so I can't say that there is no opinion, but it does sort of give you a very, um, you know, broad understanding of, of, of partition. And you got to see the, the, the character, or sorry, the, uh, the trailer for this, that is the most convincing Gandhi I've ever seen. Yeah, he's fantastic. Nearest Kabi is his name. Yeah. Okay, uh, he's fantastic. Absolutely incredible. Now you can catch uh, Manish uh, in The Resident premiering this fall on City, and we're going to take a look at the headlines with Mal.